All right, so here we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> so um, it turns out that for someone was a no-show, we're going to go ahead and continue it as a 3v3. Um, it's still going to be Albacore employees versus Despair's defenders. We are going to see Zuzi Rollerbra, or rather, you've got uh, Lala Rollerbra mining going on on uh, TA. For Team D, we're going to see Ryan, Ghost, and Calico. And Clan Platier and Wobble World, not my favorite, but, you know, a, a fun time all the time. Calico's here watching the back, trying to ink up as much as possible. See, most of this field is actually going to be in Team A's favor. And only one person goes down. Minin already goes down. And a, a Power Clan available on Team D's side. Let's see what's going on there. It's Ryan. He's trying to see. Oh, he's trying to get it past their half point, but really doesn't make anything happen. One down on TD's side. Minin going in for a kill, but gets taken out by the Guia Bomb. Bricks is going to continue pushing into their side. And he's trying to find an opportunity to pass it. He's the only, the only one on his team with some, some clams. Five clams on their team, but he's going to hold all of them and drop all of them. Um, but, but, we have, since he's down now, they're going to have to start a new push. Minin sneaking up the side, seeing what ooh, they can do, but with seven clans, gets taken out by Ryan. Ryan and his team seems like they can start a pretty strong push, but here we go. Lala trying to go up the side, but doesn't exactly get the chance to land that football. Ryan takes her out. Calico is able to jump in. Calico with a big push coming in. Calico can make that. It opens up the basket to be able to they can just unleash all their stuff. And here, it seems to be pretty tough. There it is. Opens it up. Ryan just needs to get a few more in. And goes around the side with Fly Clam. Sees what he can get in, but getting chased. Getting chased pretty bad. Able to get three in, and that makes a pretty big difference here. Since this 3v3 is going on, you've got... It's just really difficult to get all the clams together and make sure everybody's alive and just have enough uptime to get in there. Minin with the Booyah Bomb. <laughs> the chain Booyah Bomb came in with the Booyah Bomb and used one of, of their own. And Bricks here, needing just one more clam to be able to open it up. A, a desperate this way call. Ooh, Bricks able to open it. If, as long as they can get a few clams in to take the lead, there it is. 68. 65 points. They're able to get the lead by about three clams. Four clams. Ooh, Ryan goes down. Ghost and company being able to take down, protect their basket. The basket is now closed in favor of Team A. Albacore employees seem to be able to uh, take the lead here, and they're gonna, as long as they can hold that together, push a nice defense, or it seems like they're actually forming a nice offense. Lala's got a football out. And given the flexibility of the duelies that Lala has, he's gonna wait for that Booyah Bomb to get in there. Oof, it's flanked, there's a problem. Lala, Lala's free, going in, opens it up, gets that 61 point. Destroys that 19 penalty and just goes in with the one extra point, getting them to 61. It's going to be a little odd math here. Since we're talking uh, each clam is 3, 34. With no more clams on uh, Team A's side. But it seems like this push is going to be over. They can't really buy much more time to open it to uh, throw clams in that basket. So Team D gets the redemption, redemption basket, <laughs> redemption power clam, sorry but instantly taken out by Bricks. Bricks just getting in there, making sure he's in the front, picking out some good hits, even though Team D does get it open. Bricks is really making it hard for, for everybody to, to follow up with that. With another Booyah Bomb, Bricks forms a Power Clam. Maybe he can fly in with it, but no, I don't think he can take out Calico in that situation. Calico using that Heavy Hip Splatling remix, if I'm not mistaken. It's a shell spin. Calico and company going ahead. Able to get that Power Clam. I don't know, just just a little too much, a little too much green. It's a little tough to swim all around in that in that territory when they're just they're just watching it all together. Sorry about that. There we go. Lot and the others are protecting, not letting anything else really happen with that with that push. It seems like the barrier is going to come back up, and now they've got two power clamps on their side with another eight on mine. So as long as 
somebody somebody can go back and pick it up maybe. Oh no, they're getting both taken out. Oh, Bricks trades with Ryan. Lala going down. They're losing their chance for a push, but they still have their redemption clamp. But I'm not sure. It depends on this, this face-off between Ghost and Minin. Minin wins the face-off, but is, doesn't have enough time to get that power clamp. And with six seconds left, it looks like it's going to be going to Albacore employees. I'm not sure what else they can do. Ooh, Minin even sets down that dunk for the power clamp and just shuts down the entire push. Because otherwise, it, would, it may be over, able to go into overtime. Ooh -hoo. Congratulations to Team A on that one. Minin breaks Lala. That is set one, or game one of round one. That would be a Wahoo World. Next up, we've got Tower Control on the Reef. Set this up again. going to continue with the 3v3s because unfortunately it seems like Team A's fourth player isn't going to make it in. I'm sorry, Albacore employees, not Team A. DJ's getting on me for saying Team A through E, oh no. <laughs> but I hope it's an exciting match so far. Hopefully in, uh, Twitch is enjoying it. You guys uh, share the tournament for when, when you're able to go to. You know, we got this nice small tournament going on. Hopefully, it can grow over time. We're looking to get to season 20, season 30. Let's keep going. And here we are, Tower Control of the Reef. An interesting choice by Calico here. Gonna keep the Splatling, but this Splatling instead is gonna have a, a Sprinkle and the Stingray. So it's gonna be, Calico's gonna stick to that, that long range and be able to use pretty much offensive and defensive Stingrays when they see fit. The first push going off to Team A. I believe that one boy. That one boy, let's see where that push is going. Now that's Team D. So orange, we have Orange, Team D despairs defenders on Orange and Team A. Albacore employees on green. Ooh. And uh, just strong pushes coming on here. There's much, ooh, much more cohesion here in Dispersed Defenders. They, they know how to get on this tower, they know how to push it hard. They've got good suction bombs, a sprinkler to go with that. Maybe a, a reaction to not being able to have as much ink from last game. But they're gonna keep stay on that push. Let's see what Ryan's up to. Ryan just sharking a little bit. Avoid the Booyah bomb. Cool, get the splash down. But it's taken up by Minus. Good reaction on Minus' part. Get the wall up. And the tower push is done. Despair's defenders getting pushed back. Minus getting one more hit on Ghost. Two down on Despair Defender side. And they're gonna go ahead and push it ahead. That's seeing what they can grab for top of four employees. And even though that push was pretty strong, it seems like the Spares Defenders couldn't get past that first checkpoint. And, and it's pretty clear that the, the checkpoints are the parts that make you sweat. What's in this mode? A lot down. Good missiles going out to target two of the two of the members of the Spares Defenders. Sorry, not the Spares. That's an Albacore employee. They're just trying to ink up as much as possible before Briggs gets the okay to push ahead. And we're going to see that Briggs goes ahead and double Booyah Bomb. It's a good coordination right there. And Briggs is trying to hold it together. Getting taken out by somebody up on the bridge. Let's see, it was Ryan. Ryan was just trying to see what they could get to stop that defense from the back. And there it is, the first checkpoint broken through by Albacore employees. Keep at it. That push is going far, 50 points. As long as they can keep it together, Ghost tries to get that that flank on the side. Does take out one person, but Minan's still keeping strong on the tower. Face off pretty much against Calico. Ooh, Minan's still on it, even though the tower is pretty much entirely orange. Minan gets another one. But 
the tower is pretty much stopped at six points for the for the checkpoint. A good offensive booyah bomb on their part. Avalcor really wants to push it off, but it seems like mining overextended. Bricks is going to go ahead and try to grab a few hits, but I don't know if Bricks can make this one. Good trade. Lala covers Bricks for a bit, but and and gets on the tower. This this push is going to keep going. A good offensive range. Are you going to start just injuring? Despair defender's movement. And who, what's their reaction going to be to that? Ghost does take it back. Gets breaks as well, so I think Ghost is able to stop this push. That's pretty much it. It's going backwards. As long as they can win their face-offs, Ryan going facing off against mine. And they both trade together. Ooh. And now the push keeps continuing. Let's see it going. Calico and Ghost really babying this tower now, making sure that it, it does go back. The swings in their favor. Calico watching the side. I don't know. Calico with the Stingray, but what, what use is the Stingray right now? If they can, if Calico can pick off a few hits, loses the chance. Could pick up a few hits with that Stingray, but it seems like the, the strategy with Stingray is to keep defensive on that tower, because once they have that, if, if they happen to be on a can fly back, start using it. You know, it's the GG Ray. Always has the tower push. Let's see how it goes. Calico could really use that Stingray right now, but not, it's not built up just yet. Good barrage on the, on the Booyah Bomb. The Booyah Bomb lands anyway. It's just not going to be enough. 13 points, 10 points. Four Abacorn employees are going to push it. Mine is still on it. Oh, <laughs> hugs the tower as much as possible and makes it to the end right there. That's another point to Albacore employees. I think that's it for the set. So I'm going to check up what's going on with the rest of what's the rest here. And that's it. 2-0 for Albacore. And we're going to have to go and set up round two. And with the slight delay, we're a little... Uh, we're a little delayed on when round two is supposed to start, but this ends round one, and uh, hopefully I can get you an updated Swiss bracket so we can see the pointage as we keep going. But until then, I'm going to need a second to set some stuff up.